Welcome to Trash Talk. Cantina was fun. Welcome to Trash Talk. Cantina. Oh, they had a crazy. Johnny Boy, thanks for well here being yeah. here. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. This is D. I'm here with Lane, and with us as usual. Am I supposed to be Johnny Boy? <laughs> yes, Johnny Boy. You're supposed to be yourself. <laughs> Uh, it's been a little while since we've done it without John, but um, he's here now. Hello. <laughs> um, let's let's start it with. Uh, did, did you do the cantina? Star, a Star Wars. Wars cantina? No, I don't remember that. You didn't go I to did, the cantina. I didn't do any Star Wars when I was at Disney. Oh, they didn't have it at all. You. So that's why I was so curious about the the Star Wars stuff. The cantina so, was cool because I, they had. Uh, that guy's robot that does like all this DJ shit, and then oh, of course. So like the DJ or the, the robot at one point like breaks down when we're in there, and the bartender's like, "Everybody's gotta fucking get out. We gotta fix the robot." And then some of the other bartenders get everybody yelling out like, "No, we're gonna fucking stay." And she's like, they end up banging like this metal thing, and the robot will start up again and hmm. say something witty, you know? Yeah. Just, there like a, did you get a drink? I was fucking entertained as did fuck you get by a, this robot. Did you get a drink? That's what, yeah. We had two or three drinks there. Okay. The one that I got, they, whatever, I ordered it, and they came out to me. They make like, them okay, crazy. there's no rules, or the only two rules for this drink is you cannot drink it with a straw, and it's not for humans. 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 Yeah. And it was the most fucked up drink I've ever Was it alcohol? Yes. So it had this... Foam on the top. I mean, covered in mm. foam. Was it like it was like a, a numbing foam? It when what? you so you had to like literally put your whole mouth kind of like to eat this foam. Yeah, in you order had to, to get, get your to drink, drink without the foam, and whatever it touches numbs up. And your whole mouth starts tingling, and then you have just complete numbness in wherever that foam <laughs> touches. <laughs> Weird. And so, like, you could not feel your mouth. I couldn't feel my mouth for 10 minutes. <laughs> and the only thing I could taste was the drink once I start, got down to it. And it almost, like, enhanced that flavor. But, I mean, my mouth just was complete numb. Mm. Wow. And tingly. So we found out cocaine is in the drinks. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> and that she, she's not human, clearly. Oh, I drink most of it for you her. You had the she same drink? She couldn't do it. Hardly. Oh, I had, like, Until a I, I basically of it. ate the foam. So she could get so you, to her So your mouth was numb, too. I was hella numb. <laughs> <laughs> I was, too. I couldn't feel like, my mouth. I was, like, gummers. They have, <laughs> yeah, like if they, you bent your cheek, you wouldn't be able to feel it. They have that, like, you know, when your teeth get sore or whatever. I yeah. forget what it's called. John and but... I had a great time at Disney World. <laughs> Star Wars Cantina. <laughs> so John, what's your what favorite a... Star Wars character again? I forget. Um, the... What's it called? Darth the little Vader? The baby Yoda? Baby Yoda <laughs> is a is technically a Star Johnny Wars boy. character. Johnny the little boy. That's likes his I love baby, baby Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with liking baby Yoda, oh, okay? No, if it gets more people in Star Wars, that's fine. You notice how she says I like baby Yoda and not Ray? <laughs> 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 yeah, cuz no one enjoyed the D- Disney sequel trilogy, but they like Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda Mandalorian is so cute. TV series. Yeah. It's like such an easy idea too. Like why wasn't that in the movies? Right. You'd probably see him if he was in it, right? Yeah. Does he ever talk? No, he hasn't talked yet. I don't I, don't, I haven't even seen the last season. Oh, you did? Did not. Did not. Yeah, you guys were kind of like so down on it. It's not it. worth it's it. Like, it was eh, it's okay. It was okay. Just wasn't the same as the first two, and if you remember, it almost just ends perfectly with the two. So, don't worry about it. Shit for a third or a quarter of that. Uh, oh goodness, what's his name? Hut. Java. No, not Java. Um, oh, the the assassin guy or whatever. The droid. Boba Fett. Oh, Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Uh, it becomes Baby Yoda. And Mandalorian. Chewbacca's cute too. What do you mean he becomes? Like, Baby there's Yoda. like a whole episode where it's just him and Baby Yoda, and he's fighting or whatever. Oh yeah, you're talking about. There's like how a couple, two or three episodes. They essentially that are just like mostly them. They stole a couple episodes, yes, from Boba Fett. That that definitely happened. I don't know why. Just because. I mean, those were the best episodes. Too. They were. They were. I mean, it got you watching Boba Fett. Yeah. Boba <laughs> Fett was fun. Are you gonna watch Ahsoka? I want to watch Ahsoka. Comes out, I think, pretty soon. 
but it's probably going to be weekly. Um, I don't know. Yeah, her story would be if they do it well. If. If they do it well. If they do it well. There's a lot riding on this. I think you might like it too. Badass Jedi woman. She's not a Jedi though. Carly's more into Barbie. Or, I, mean, oh, I thought you were going to say vampires. Oh, what if the Nightwings were in it? Could be badass. Which ones are the Nightwings? Or the, like... the, the Night Sisters. Oh, yeah. They'd be crazy. The Witches. Dude, that opened up a whole new like, I know. part of the fucking Star Wars. I'm not sure how I feel about them yet, to be I loved it. Because it was only such a small part. I mean, it's interesting, but it like it like you said, it, it opens up a whole new thing in, in Star Wars. It's, it's like, like you don't grow up with that stuff to begin with. That was at it later, so it was just like it's just a new way to think about the Force. Yeah, but it, it's fun. I mean, I'll watch it. But I you, would. <laughs> but it would it could change so much. I feel like yeah, that's not really Star Wars. But anyway, that's what they need to do now. They need to give us something completely different. I feel like yeah, yeah. Disney needs to make it their own. We're never going to get old Star Wars again. They, you could never. I mean, Star Wars, to me, is the best trilogy ever. Was Star Wars not on Disney at first? No, no. They, they didn't own it. They it just, Lucas. Yeah, they just the bought it like 10 years ago. The director were, and producer? And writer? George Lucas? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's the creator. Three. He's the creator. No, he didn't direct all of them. Um, but he, uh, yeah, he sold it to Disney for like billions of dollars. And yeah. then Disney created their own sequel trilogy that's terrible. They had one that sounded like it would have been really fucking good. And they made the guy, the director, like, re-edit it all. It was like a, a war movie. Rebel well, One, or Rogue One. Disney doesn't really oh, yeah, have yeah. a lot of, like, adult themes. And Rogue One's honestly my favorite one that they that Disney did. And you could see it, like, pushing the edge, too. It could have been so much darker, yeah. you know? There's like the whole like trailer had like scenes we never saw that were fucking badass. So, yeah, no, no, they just it's corporate. They make their own decisions, you know. Like they get a whole board together, talk I'm about just, the best direction, and Disney you know. doesn't really have a whole lot of adult type stuff. Well, yeah, and that's the thing. They just like they so don't have a creator. And and... Like George Lucas created it. It's his vision and world, you know. Right. So they can't just take that and try to make it good again. Yeah, you'll you're never gonna have that original spirit. Right. You know. So, which is a shame. I was super excited about Star Wars. <sighs> yeah, me too. Carly, <laughs> you want to tell us? Or Johnny Boy, you want to tell us about Barbie review? Oh. The Barbie can movie, you, it, was, it was good. Can you convince me I need to see it? Yeah. I, um, I mean, I, I probably will, but I don't have, like, a desire. There's so many other movies I've I choose to pick I will tell you that over. it is at least entertaining. It is. It's funny. It is funny. I don't um, think I've found it as funny as Johnny Boy and his mom. <laughs> it was really funny. Um, it's... It's definitely worth the watch. Would I go see it again? Ryan in Gosling. Like a really theater? Funny no. Either. Ryan Gosling is the best character because he, you know, he's always like that serious, hot, badass guy kind of deal. He can be goofy. He can be goofy, but like in a, he's he's always the cool guy, and then he can have his like quirky moments as being the cool guy. I feel like. So for him to take on a Ken doll role. <laughs> It's like completely, everybody was like, what the hell is this? But you all swoon over him. Oh, yeah, but it's also like, he's going to fuck this all up. This movie is not going to be good. And you can he, tell that right away. He killed it. I mean, he was awesome. I, I've heard he steals the show. He is awesome in it. He does steal the show. It was There's a big really dance funny. number at the end of the movie. And he tears it up the dance. Weird and... Barbie and him are Oh, it's, the it's best. not a musical, is it? No, nah, I wouldn't say couple, it's, a, it's not a musical, but it's couple like, it's like musical Disney movie acts. musical level. Ah, fuck, I wasn't prepared for that much singing. But the, no, it's not that much singing. Like I can it's do not three really... songs. It's uh, more it's than not so three. They're not like singing. They're like singing. They're like dancing to like a song. They'll like, they'll play the soundtrack of Barbie. Oh, like she's just walking. So they'll play like you know all the big songs on the radio. They all have like big scenes in the movie where everything's like they don't dance sing. and shit. The only they time might, they sing is singing. when they're in the car once, and that's because there's three. Well, girls no, they're in the singing at the end now. when they're all on their acoustic guitars. Yeah, but that's they're on the bonfire. It's hilarious. Though. It's more of like You'll, that is a really funny so part. My mom music. said it's like very nostalgic. Like they use Barbie from throughout the ages. Yeah, of like different I mean, models. Just about every like... oddball Barbie is in there. Yep. 
Even weird Barbie. Yeah, see, that's kind of that makes me curious. Kate Just McKinnon's like, weird Barbie. She's funny. Okay, the what is weird Barbie like? Weird She's Barbie is the Barbie the that you play too hard with, and like the legs are always in a permanent like splits. <laughs> and her hair, her and maybe hair the is hair is chopped up. up. <laughs> you try to do a haircut, and it's always got makeup smeared all over it. My mom, when, the, when she saw the weird Barbie, she goes, "Well, that was you, Carly." <laughs> Um, like, she was everyone. That was you as a kid. Everyone had a Barbie like that as a kid. <laughs> they would just you know? totally destroy their hair. And... The biggest takeaway from the movie is she didn't cut Barbie's I'm hair. Knuff. What were you doing? <laughs> what? I am Knuff. I am Knuff. Okay. I am Knuff. <laughs> it's so funny. It's really worth going to. I recommend it. You the can wait. The best part of the movie out. is probably the end of the movie. Well, there's a lot of funny parts. Was it a long movie? Too. Did it feel long? Uh, Not really. I to entertain. I told Johnny hours. Boy here that <laughs> after, shortly after when we left the movie, I was like, it ended just in time. I was starting to get tired. You know how I'll fall asleep you in You fall movie. asleep in every <laughs> movie theater. Oh, I was out Because they get those nice reclining there. chairs. They get all fucking comfortable. Ugh, it's easy yeah. to fall asleep. I get lost in Eat movies Eat a bunch of much, fucking though. popcorn. I, I'm, like, I'm too focused cold. on movies. I was out cold during the middle of Cocaine Bear. Oh, were you? I, that was my next question for Johnny Boy. Was Cocaine Better? Better. No. I hated no. Cocaine <laughs> no. I That's the only other movie I've bear. seen in theaters I want to go year. see... Uh, I recommend seeing the Barbie movie. It's honestly good. It's worth going to see. Maybe go see it in like a week or two when the hype We should is go down. see the Meg in 3D. Yeah, I'm not into 3D. You know that. I haven't seen the Meg. You're not into 3D? I don't like 3D yeah. either. 3D sucks. The we went and saw Pandora two or three times in theaters just because it was in 3D. Oh, back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, because that was the new thing. Well, anyways, I went to see the Meg. Did you see Avatar 2? No. You haven't seen Avatar 2 yet? No. That's what I was seeing, not Pandora. Avatar. Yeah. I knew what you meant. You haven't seen Avatar yet? You saw the original Mm -hmm. in theaters? No. Really? You were just against it because it's a cultural thing you don't want to do it? No, I just never... I tried to start it one time and I just couldn't get into it. That's fair. Did you watch Titanic, though? Yeah. Okay. Titanic? Titanic? I've never seen Titanic. I don't know. Some people were also against it, like, no, I don't want to watch this movie because everyone's watching it. I don't care. Well, I feel like that's you right now with Barbie. (laughs) No, it's not. Barbie is not on the same level as Okay, if I have to convince you one thing, it's not about, like, Barbies. Barbies. It's a lot... It's I've heard real Will Ferrell world is stuff. good. It is real world well, stuff. In Barbie Land, I'm not. It is literally a matriarchy. Ken, you cannot don't end Alan. tell him this. You give away the movies to everybody. Yeah, I know it's all about feminism. Like, yeah, there's that's obviously I will say, a part. I, it's Barbie. I was a little surprised, feminist. if not uh, uh, offended. No, I don't want to say offended. <laughs> you were I, offended. I expected like after everything that happens in the movie, I was thinking like. Barbie Land's going to become more equal. And they're like, no. <laughs> it kind of <laughs> they, was. They, they, oh, the only thing that happened was, so they actually Nothing like changes? Barbie president, no, Barbie does. judicial system. They have a Barbie constitution, and it favors Barbie, and like King gets nothing. And then, so they learn all yeah, these lessons does. and gets, shit, then... and at the very end, they're like, well, we'll maybe give you, talk about giving you a, a, a spot in the judicial branch. He, he does get something at the end, and I'm not going to tell you because... You're going to go see it. It's probably just something dumb, like he gets a Frisbee. No. Oh, well, I think I know what you're talking He gets about. a lesson in no. life that helps him. What, does Barbie learn a lesson? Yeah. She learns a lot of lessons because she goes to the real world. Ah. And then everything gets fucked up. Oh, yeah, because that's where they meet Will Ferrell. Yeah. Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell is, like, in, an, in it most of the time. He is. Hmm. He's a he pops in and it's out. It's kind of like the, the Lego movie, movie but yeah, Barbie. that's what I think you told me that. Yeah, it's worth going to see. Definitely. All right, well, I will see it. I'm not going to pay money for. it, I don't think. Okay. Well, I'm a go see it when it gets out. It's good. Lane's a pirate. <laughs> it's something to do if you don't. No, have I was going to say. Space I was going to say I'm an ally, but like I don't know if uh, you have to go to Barbie to be a feminist, right? No. Okay. You don't have to be a feminist to go see it. There's a lot of good life lessons in it. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, something on a lighter note. I thought (laughs) this Barbie. This comes from uh, (laughs) the Internet Hall of Fame Twitter account. Police find 44 stolen diamonds 
in up a man's anus during a routine traffic stop. Wait, we've talked about this before. <laughs> no, no. The first comment highlighted, uh, this guy looks suspicious. Let's look up his ass. <laughs> Just as far as a routine traffic stop. Like, how did it progress to them? Like, we want to check your ass. Well, please. maybe they obviously had some sort of suspicion. I don't know. It was in the UK. So that's all you have about it? Yeah, it's just a screenshot of a tweet. <laughs> actually, I think that it's an old like, Facebook Jesus posting, Christ, actually. Jesus Christ, could you imagine how torn up his asshole is? Diamonds are sharp. Here, maybe we oh, can they find could be something. tiny ones. Yeah, but if they're but, not clean cut and whatnot well, already. No, I feel like no matter what, there's pro- they're probably in a bag. Oh, maybe, hopefully. Well, do you think when he was getting pulled over, he decided to shove him up his butt? Or did he have him in his butt the whole time, driving and stuff? I found it. Was it premeditated? I, I, I you know, D- the diamond squeezer. <laughs> <laughs> Cops arrest man and find forty-four diamonds hidden up his bum. His name was Isel Bio Padilla, twenty-three. This happened in two thousand nineteen. So swap stones for drugs. Wow, he looks like a drug pusher. Where do you get the stones? Oh, uh, let me get through. Oh yeah. I mean. They he had, had him in a small bag. They had to have been small. He had 44 probably really small ones. It probably was like a dime bag of diamonds. Oh, so when they pulled him over, they, one of the cops noticed that he pulled a baggie from his butt crack. So that's why they checked him. They, wait, they saw him pull it from his butt crack like when it fell out? I, I don't know. It's <laughs> one of the cops when they had pulled what? him over noticed that he was like he pulled a baggie out of his butt crack. Or he was trying to shove it up his asshole? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably exactly what happened. He just shoved him all up his ass and was going to try to toss the bag. And then one You got to take the bag too, man. You can't just... Uh, what goes in can't come back out at that point. Yeah, exactly. Those could, that could do some damage. So he did sure. probably have the bag. I mean, think about it. It's smarter, it's smarter than swallowing him. Well, yeah, that could literally kill you. At yeah. least you just have some... Anal tears for this. Well, unless you were like you that committed. You could reconstruct an anus. You could, you could throw up 44 diamonds, maybe. Uh, it depends how far you shove them up. Yeah, I don't know. You get detained and it would pass. I feel like it wouldn't whatever. be able to go that far up your system like that. Up you don't your butt? throw up shit. No, I'm not talking about that. If you swallowed them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to throw Yeah, but then shit. you have so much more for it. You have your esophagus that could get cut. You have um, oh, your stomach, just like the your vocal cords, like the other orifices, or whatever they're called. All of that stuff is super sensitive, Sphincter? whereas you can reconstruct is, you that, your butthole. What is the thing in your throat called that opens? Uvula? Esophagus. <laughs> no, the thing that opens from the esophagus to the, or from the stomach to the lungs and shit. There's like one orifice, oh, I forget uh, what it's called. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Sphincter. <laughs> it's a sphincter, <laughs> but it's... I, it's got a different name. Anyway. Yeah, it's your anal sphincter and then your stomach sphincter. Stomach sphincter. So, yeah, you could throw diamonds up because it hasn't gone to the sphincter yet. Yeah, but what if he was put into jail? He'd have to throw them up quickly. And then, like, think about that. Going through all that soft tissue and then coming back up. Whew. Yeah. You could die a lot easier from that. Oh, than yeah. And, it and you wouldn't butt. even know. You would just like get some internal bleeding, you know. I wonder something. how they got all 44 out of his butt. In a bag. I'm thinking they took the bag. He took the bag out and shoved him up, and that's what they saw. Yeah. I'm sure multiple like, if bags, that happens, but... like, however they get him out, at some point, somebody is shoving their finger up your ass. Yeah, yeah. Knuckles deep to check. Any more in there? You find one, you'll find more. They're like, maybe they'll they get a took hose a out and, and fucking maybe they feed him took fucking him in and diarrhea him a shit right away and just hold him down. Fucking shit in this screen. Gaped ass. Yeah, <laughs> basically. It, hose him. They have like, they, you can make someone shit probably in two hours. Maybe minimum. less. I would say less. Give him some laxatives. Coffee. Yeah, just feed him with water and laxatives. Nothing but. What do they have? A strainer under his ass to pull out the diamonds? Yeah, probably. He might not. He might just be like laid over, and he's just shitting them up in the air. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, it'd be awkward if he like popped a heart as a diamond boner. 
You know, <laughs> it could have happened. Cubs what would you say about that, job. Johnny boy? <laughs> Cubs have a hard job sometimes. Man. Is that a pun? No, you know they enjoyed that. Like sticking their do- finger up another man's ass. They gotta have some sort of someone. Expert. Someone. They call get the finger butt person. They call the finger guy. They're like, get Glenn. He he's dated the finger thing last week. Get Glenn down here right now. Glenn's Where's the office loop? This guy put di- Glenn's been exposed already. Yeah. This, well, like Glenn's into it most likely. Get your hazmat suit on. <laughs> yeah. We think he's got diamonds, and Glenn just had a fucking raging diamond boner. <laughs> to get over I'll let you keep whatever you find. <laughs> My fingers aren't long enough for this one. I'm gonna have to use well, odd. Well, that's why you call Glenn. Then, you call Glenn in because he's also got the other tools. Get the, get the tweezers ready. <laughs> yeah, the, the gaper and the tweezers. Oh God. Oh fuck. Yeah, no, it's possible, man. You think the cops aren't fucked up? Maybe the cops put the they planted them on him. Up his ass. Yeah. No, clearly that guy looks like he put him up there. Yeah, no, he did, was the type of guy that would put diamonds up his did ass. Did say where he got them? One diamond is not enough. I need 44. Did, were they blood diamonds? Did they say where he got them? They, no, they were stolen. He claims he got them from a family member who often has stolen oh, goods. Oh, man. Oh, okay. So it wasn't they like were trading it in family for drugs. heirloom. Like someone got the diamonds Maybe, back. Maybe, who knows? And they're like, Maybe they are. What was his name? Padilla or something like that was his last name. Padilla. They're like, oh fuck, who wants the Padilla diamonds? You know, like, who that's would? Probably, that's probably they're probably on somebody's finger. Would you give right them to your wife? Yeah. Do you think they just mixed them they're in other diamonds? They're these for Christmas. Or did they give them like a little discount? Like, <laughs> well, here's the shit diamonds. <laughs> they were in Diego's ass a couple months ago. <laughs> God. Whatever his name was. Will you marry me? Here's a shit diamond. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to tell her that. <laughs> I got it 25% off. <laughs> yeah. For shit diamonds? Yeah. That seems about right. <laughs> Give it a little extra scrub. Oh, God, good. No, I'm sure some cop took them home. Like, they don't... They confiscate evidence most of the time, I feel like. We do. Like, oh, well, this month... We're going to sell them to whoever, and this money goes to us. Or they auction them off, really, I guess. You ever been to a cop auction? No. I've never have either. I wanted to really go. I know sometimes you can find like badass cars and shit. Those. Yes, I, I know a lot of people that bought cars from them. My dad has a cop car, but it's like doesn't have the lights or anything. Well, this would be like How confiscated vehicles they sell for super cheap. Yeah. How old is it? Yeah, an older one. It's super not like old. the Chargers or whatever they have yeah, now. It's like it's, a cool old one or something. Yeah, it's like an old school, like when we were growing up, cop car. Nice. That would, that'd be cool. It was. They painted it all black though, but it still has the. <laughs> uh, Whatever the back seat thing, it's all plastic seats and bars on the window. Oh, nice. Yeah, just it's They're like a just, taxi cab where you yeah can get through or whatever. Yeah, it's cop I car. I got locked in there going golfing one time because I don't know we end up taking that car and <laughs> I got locked in there. No one let you and out. And they couldn't get it about, They couldn't get me out because you can't open the door from the inside. Or the outside? You need the key. You can open the door from the outside. No, so no one let you out. Yeah, no one let me out. <laughs> Yeah, I probably did that on purpose. Most likely. Most likely. Uh, Chase had to go uh, buy his bike back. That got stolen. And he called oh, the, the cops? cops? He No, the, he knew got the guy that stole it, and he called the cops on him or whatever, and they took the bike as evidence, and then he had to go to the auction to get his bike back. Why wouldn't like they a get bicycle it back to or him? a motorcycle? They auctioned it off. It's evidence. It's just a bicycle. You can't just take this someone's like, property. This was like... Eighth grade or something. I don't know. Oh, when they stole. They um, do, dude. When they stole Spencer's tires and uh, Dad's tires from our whatever uh, front yard. Cops took tires from your front yard? No, some th- thieves did. And the cops came and they said, well, we can't do anything about this. I mean, the best I can tell you is to go shop around thrift stores, see if you can find your tires. Yeah. I mean, that that's a little different, though. Like, the Chase's bike got stolen. Thought you'd have to buy back. The guy, he That's called, what that is. Same he thing. He called the cops. And no, the cops arrested the guy that took the bike. Took the bike. The cops took the bike as oh, evidence. Oh, shit. And then sold it like a year later on the auction. Like okay, held, held it for that up. long. Yeah. They should just give that back to Do him. Do they sell the drugs back then too? <laughs> no, they keep those <laughs> drugs, Derek. The good ones at least, not the fucking <laughs> shit ones. They burn that shit. And get the town high. <coughs> 
Well, in local news, there's been a cougar on the prowl in West Omaha. And I'm not talking about some blonde milk with big fake boobs. Well, there's that, too. There's lots of those out west. Yeah, there's definitely <laughs> that. I've seen about 12 sightings today. Wow. Where have you been? <laughs> Downtown. <laughs> Good old Johnny boy. <laughs> So there's now been four <laughs> official sightings that I'm aware of. There was one in Papillion this week. Yeah, so I haven't been moving. keeping up with it. Well, there's multiple. I, I feel like I saw one of them, and I was like, yeah. You thought nice. you saw one? No, I saw like the first oh. like, incident of it, and I was there like, was four that sounds about right. Last week. Yeah, they, they saw 111th and Q uh, a couple of times, a handful of times, 114th and Q, and then on M Street recently, and then in Papillion uh, more recent than that. So it's I, a big cougar too. Yeah, I work at uh, you know 110th and Q probably essentially. Oh, oh wow! Oh, you can give it a nice pet. Yeah, well, this is the same place. Project Harmony is not far away, and that's where they had another one. Probably like oh. in 2015 or something. They had to like put one down because it was just like laying next to the building, like during oh, the day. Oh, they'll shoot day. it if they said they said that. If they find it, they they're gonna kill it. Well, you have to. There's no, you can tranquilize and it and move it. No, they also hunting hunting season for cats is legal in Nebraska. The what? They have they have a mountain lion season in Nebraska. Yeah, but if it's season for them? Yeah, it's in city limits. That's why they have to. No, kill I, yeah, them. for sure. But I'm just what I'm saying. It's like it's they're that big of a problem that if we have a season for them, like we're keeping them in check, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Hello, hello. Uh, I think, but the, you know what the fucked up thing about mountain lion hunting is? No. How they do it. How yeah. do you think you hunt a mountain lion? Shoot it? Well, how would you find it? By hiding at Tracks? Night? You're just going to wait for it to fucking walk up next to you and or try to shoot it and then it'll attack a, you? Put a prey out and I... You think humans are that dumb? I don't know. Put a prey. No, they do it in a fucked up, like, bitch way. They use dogs. What? Chase them up a tree. Oh, yeah. And then shoot it while it's in a tree. And if they do it, like, they have, like, three or four. They do it every time, but every year. But if they year. get the dog? They don't get the dog. There's, like, 12 dogs. The cat's just terrified and runs, you know? Oh, they get the dogs to kill it. No, no, no. The dogs just chase it. And the cat runs from it because there's oh, 12 that's dogs. Wrong. Yeah, there's 12 dogs chasing it, you know, and they're like hunting dogs that are like on its trail. That's wrong. That's not natural. The same way they kill foxes, you know? That's mean. Yeah. At least like a deer, they're out in the wild and you sit there and wait and it's like time consuming and whatnot. But yeah, like exactly. To prey them out. Deer are like also that. pretty fucking dumb. Well, and they're also a very big problem. Yeah. There's a lot of deer. Like, they get hit by cars Mountain every lions, year. they shouldn't. That's, that's but, a fucked up But way. there's a lot of mountain lions. They're in Omaha now. Oh, maybe the mountain lions will help us with the deer problem. But then we have mountain lions to deal with. They're just a big pussy. Oh, bat. I bet the mountain lions are, if you think about it. They'll get domesticated. They, Woman's best yeah, friend. I the mean, mountain lion they caught on the one tape, that thing is the size of... Him. It's, oh, bit, it's, it's bigger. bigger. It's, it's way bigger. Its paws are like the size of my face. Yeah, it might not be like taller, but just built. Stronger you know? and yeah, yeah, more muscular. Cats are crazy. I mean, there's a lot of. There's oh, a lot they of, hunt too. They are. There's a lot good of prey hunters. in this city, though. There's plenty of rabbits and raccoons. A lot of overweight know? people. Overweight. Not. I'm just talking about like there's still the wildlife. Like there's possums and you know. Yeah. Everything that a ra- or a Raccoon mountain bunnies. lion would normally eat. Well, well fat I read raccoons, something about you know? in that area there's a they have like a shit ton of bunnies, like almost an insane hmm. amount. So it's probably preying on all the bunnies. That could be. Well they've also built like all those lakes out not that far away from that area. Like there's Chaco, Prairie Queen, and the interstate. So there's like a couple of streams that all come together. Like right around the edge of Omaha, and it just they funnel in, you know, the railroad tracks. Cats find their way in, just like you see turkeys in Omaha. Cats you know? find a way. Yeah. Um. So, are you for killing mountain lions, Dirk? I mean, I don't want hurting people. 
But do, what about tranquilizing it and re- replacing or removing it to another? A lot of times animals like that just come back. I mean, they can travel from somewhere. They know the way around. Well, then they find just, a good place, they're going to go back to that place. You're just introducing it into some another cat's territory, you know? They're yeah. so territorial. That's the only reason they're here in Omaha is because they have nowhere else to go. Like, there's already other cats out there. Yeah. Yeah, Jared said he's felt like he got hunted by him a few times, you know, like... You hear some stuff, and you run back to your, your truck. He's out in a cornfield where yeah. you can't see anything, too. Yeah, they stalk you out there. We have a caller. Welcome, Welcome to, trash to Trash Talk. Talk. Hey, first time, short time. What's going on with you fellas? Well, Wait, we're, we're John's s- in two places at once? I say we're sitting down with Johnny Boy right now. Hi, Carly. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? Your name's C- was- Carly. Oh, you're saying like Carly. You're Carly. You're Carly. I'm Johnny Boy, I'm motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. What do you want, Carly? Oh, oh. I want. I, I, I don't. Ooh. I want to <laughs> say something real fucked up, but I don't want to be mean. <laughs> All right. Typical well, Carly. Well, are you are you terrified of mountain lions? Mountain lions, uh, actually, yeah. They're here. Mm-hmm. I know, they were spotted in Sarpy County, and I have a big wooded acre, and I'm kind of worried about it. Oh, I didn't know Sarpy, too. Or No, yep. th- this one is That's out where Pillion's w- at. This one is in, sighting. Yeah, Sarpy this one's County. in West Omaha, Pillion, Sarpy. Not... The, the one, I, I read something they were spotted in Sarpy. Yeah, but... But, you're, like, way out on... You're on the other end of Sarpy, I feel like. Okay, you know what? I'm still going to worry about it because I want to worry about it. How about that? All right. That's fine. Be a little bitch. How would uh, you hunt well, one? Hey, you know what? I'll do me. You do you. How about that? How, how would you hunt a mountain lion? Carly. Carly. Oh, uh, hunt, I wouldn't hunt it because that's fucked up. But to defend myself, well, I have a shovel and a gun. You think you're going to stop a mountain lion? I'm not gonna stalk a mountain lion. I'm not gonna hunt a mountain lion. That's fucked up. No, if I have to defend stop. myself. Will you stop one with a gu- oh, shiner? Stop gun? one. Yeah. Uh, a nine millimeter hollow point and a shovel? Probably not. I'm fucked. He's a pretty big guy though. I think you need at least the forty five. That's what I've heard recommended for mountain lions. I, I believe it. Yeah, my, my like dad six, hunted six, a six, two uh, fifty mountain lion in the Nevada with a three hundred savage and it like it goes Threw fuck it. you. Yeah. So, yeah, no, mountain lions aren't to fuck around. Well, that's what, that's what we were talking about, our fears of mountain lions. I think that's why you're asking me. <laughs> well, uh, what do you have a concert to go to tonight? Are you watching Barbie? Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I, I, no, I'm not watching Barbie. I, I would like to see it, but no, I'm at the uh, I'm on a Mars concert right now. It hasn't started yet, so I thought I'd call in. That's, that's very sweet of you. <laughs> Thank you, Carly. <laughs> you're welcome, guys. Damn it, show me your penis. <laughs> Typical Carly. <laughs> so who, who's, who's the guest then? Johnny Boy. It's just the three it's of us. Three of us. The classics. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, well, I, uh, you should let uh, uh, Johnny Boy know that he's uh, uh, very rugged and handsome. <laughs> Johnny Boy, you heard that. You're uh, sleeping on the couch tonight. I, I looked in the mirror today. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what happened to your eyebrows? I burnt them off in a bomb that I tried to make. I, I have, I, I cannot, I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Carly. Typical Carly. <laughs> oh, that was, what? Well, I can't hear a goddamn thing. I know, you pr- saying, probably so, o- only just hear me. You eat true. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to leave you with, uh, fuck both of you and whoever's there the third time. All right. Fuck off. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> what concert did Carly say she was at? <laughs> moth? Yeah. That's what it sounded like. It sounded like two words though. Mothman man or something. Mothra band? Moth- Mothra man? Moth man? Moth- Mothred man. I've heard that's her favorite band. Yeah. Well, I didn't. It like is, top five. I think it's pretty metal. <laughs> she loves that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. They didn't have metal Barbie in the movie. No metal Barbie? No metal Barbie. Wow. Was there like a punk Barbie? No. 
I think it was a punk kid, maybe. Was there well, a weird Barbie kid? was an emo? kind of a punk. Or a punk. <laughs> weird Barbie emo. is just be from abuse. There would have been goth Barbie. Goth Barbie. There was I'm a sure goth. There was goth Barbie. There was no goth? There was pregnant Barbie. And they yeah. discontinued that because they thought it was weird. Well, I don't even know if it was Barbie. Wasn't it Barbie's friend? That seems weird. Like yeah, Melissa like it was something. like everybody else was Barbie but the pregnant Barbie. Yeah. Or was that the weird Barbie? There was Alan. There was other names. There was other Barbies that weren't Barbie. They were named something else. No. Like her, was she just, always had Entourage. No, they were all Barbies. Really? By Alan. Yeah. Space Barbie. Who's Alan? Alan was no, Ken's best Barbie. friend. He's like in the 60s or something. They had preg- pregnant Barbie. B was Barbie. Do they have plan B Barbie? Prego Barbie? Probably in the middle of the movie. <laughs> we don't talk about what? plan B Barbie. <laughs> They kind of talk about that in the middle of the movie. Oh, okay. Barbie goes down. <laughs> uh, so on the topic of cats, <laughs> Carly, do you want to talk well, about your crazy cat lady? Can I, can I ask one more Carly question about the mountain lion, though? When, yeah. How long do you think it before it gets caught? And what if they catch it and they, we keep seeing it? Uh, that means we have more than one. Now it's an epidemic. They do travel in herds. No. The animals are rising up to take back the world. There's already like coyotes scouts. and shit in Omaha. I have to pull up that article. In 1992, Lania Latanzio's father asked for help in finding a new cat. <laughs> Since that day, now 67-year-old Mrs. Latanzio... <laughs> Is surrounded by feline friends. She has your dog wants to. She's play. taken in and lived with twenty eight about twenty eight thousand cats. Jesus. And I think she currently has. What did you say? Like she over said, 1, she has eight hundred adult cats and three hundred kittens to make up one thousand one hundred cats in that she owns. They've all been taken in as feral or abandoned. Um, but it's kind of crazy because. It's a crazy cat lady. She lets them. It's the craziest it cat lady, though. She's in California. She lets them. She has a sanctuary. Lets them roam freely around the twelve thousand acre farm. Um, she said the sheer quantity of. Oh, where is it? The sheer quantity of felines on the property forced Le- Lenia to leave her five bedroom house to the cats and set herself up in a mobile home. She said, there wasn't room for me anymore. I ended up with 60-some cats in my bedroom with dogs, and I just said, that's it, and I moved out. She just left? And she said, the The cats took over. Well, she moved on to a different home. The cats took over the house, and she moved into a different, like, she bought a mobile home Mm. to live in next to her house, (laughs) or the cat's house. She just let them have the nice. And she said, the bill each year... It was $1.6 million to keep up with the 1,100 cats. So she's like an cats. independently wealthy person and is dedicating all of her money and no. time into thousands of cats. She said that she started this endeavor when she started it. Um, it was out of her own pocket. She spent her whole retirement, sold her car, sold her wedding ring because nothing would be worth keeping over the cats. Hmm. Wow. I mean, everyone's got to have a hobby. Way to get back. It's not giving back. It's bad for the Could environment. Could you imagine how that fucking house smells? Oh. I don't know. If, I mean, well, that's that why doesn't even sound like it be healthy for you, the cats. You don't even go in there, though. I mean, like, her job, her full-time job has got to be taking care of cats, basically. Oh, yeah. You're constantly She's picking not up getting paid. cat shit and piss out of litter boxes. I mean, maybe she's trained no. them all to use the toilet. At that point, you don't train any. You just 1,100 rest. cats in five bedrooms. There's probably three bathrooms, maybe. No, you just have like a couple of floor that the cats have been peeing on, and that's the cat floor. That floor would just freaking crumble. Oh, they've overrun the house, she said. Well, yeah, the cats run the house now. No, well, yeah, she, she moved out of it. The cats are the house. That's what I'm saying. The cats the would take over cats. and just pee wherever they wanted to. It's like haunting. And the cats would be fucking each other, making new cats. The cats you know? probably like... Mm-hmm. Combine and make one gigantic cat. Do you do you think she had like the leader cat, like her first cat? No, was leader like, cat. Uh, the leader. Oh, the leader cat. Yeah. Well, that was her dad. She said her dad said that asked her to help her find a new cat, and then it just 
went from there. She went, went from there, went nuts. And she said she's had over 28,000 cats in her life. Jesus. Old mittens just took over the world. Can you imagine that? No. Like, like 12 cats would be too much. I mean, so on the farm... We used to have cats all summer. Like Yeah, at a barn or something. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Yeah, the outside there'd be like 50 cats running around. You know, That's... little kittens at, like at different ages, you know, because the cats would keep giving birth throughout the year. Yeah. But like you'd have some of them that were tamer than other ones too. There'd be like crazy wild ones, you know. Yeah, but that's different. They're pissing and shitting outside, and oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Well, and there's the thing though. If, if they, the cats also didn't just stay inside, I'm sure they were outside cats. Well, they, she said she lets them roam free on a 12 acres, but yeah, in the same sense, that house is filled with cats. I bet some of the I cats. I wonder if she just like leaves the door open. Some of the yeah, I'm sure she, the door probably just fell off. I would imagine probably covered in freaking piss. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, I mean, you see, you've seen like the Island of Dogs and stuff, like where there's just it's a dog farm, you know, dogs running free, having yeah. the time of their lives. I don't like that. Seems nice, like fun, you know. And the dogs are just getting along. But cats, probably fucking vicious and like. I'm sure they're wild. Well, yeah, she said she took them all in as either feral or um, found them on the streets. They're yeah. abandoned. Yeah. Yeah, just collect them all. God, so, can you, that's sad. So though. what Think happened that. to them? 1,100 cats that she found on her own that were abandoned. So what happened to them all, though? They're still, they're, she's still running it. She just still lives there? She, she rents this? She didn't own this property? She owns it. She just oh. gave her house up and bought a mobile home to put next to the house yeah. of cats. Well, I mean... What do you think she's gonna do when she when they die, when she dies though? Like, cause people are gonna take the pro- the bank will take it and be like, slaughter them. Oh wait, she would not let that happen. I bet she has a will or something or something with that. I mean, she didn't even have a job. She's taking care of cats constantly. <laughs> Maybe she was married to a rich man and nah, you'd took hope his so. money. She has to. I mean, it cost her one point two million dollars to keep this, or one point six million a year. Yeah, I bet there's like no birds or rats in like a fucking <laughs> hundred mile radius of that house. You oh, know? doubtful. Hmm. That's why I feel bad. Like that cats can't be left alone. Like, or they can, but like they shouldn't. They, they create w- cat societies and they rise up. Yeah, they fucking take over. Yeah, they took over her house. She said, I didn't want 60 yeah. cats in my bedroom cats, every morning. They're not paying the property tax and the, the mortgage. So, I wonder how many she lets in her mobile home now. Oh, I'm sure. Maybe like the, two. Probably the most decrepit ones. I'll just keep you here safe with me. Like the ones that get beat no, up by the No, you'd hope other... she learned her lesson and, oh, and, and no, has like two cats. addiction. She doesn't live in her house. She, so she has to go cold turkey? Until yep. she fucking leaves no back cats. Well, her she house she said again. that she's had over 28,000 cats. Before. So so when how long do you think before they take over the mobile home? If she has an addiction, they're gonna eat her. Oh, she'd probably like that. I mean, like having that many cats is like living with a snake in your bed. Is this in America? Yeah, California. Oh my god, it's not that surprising. Yeah, the state's probably so subsidizing them. Le- like not legally. Like honestly, though, how many cats do you think you could have? I've lived with three. That was enough. I'd probably say four tops. I feel like four could be doable in a big house. Yeah, but those cats would have to get. But you also, also have, have to clean dogs. the litter box out. Like no, every I'm day. not doing that. No, there's a cat door. I'm not fucking cleaning up shit. <laughs> we're, or we're not having cats. I'm not cleaning up cat no, shit. We don't you know? clean up shit anymore. The I don't think eat it. I don't think it's worth it. The bass eats it. For the no, dogs. the dogs. Yeah, that sounds better. We right. have lids and everything, and a door that goes in there, and they stick their fucking heads in the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, ooh, I get to eat, be in some shade while I eat this delicacy. I feel like we just have to drop nice the money and get snack. those electric ones that like dog can't get into, and the cats go there and it automatically sifts the piss and shit out for you. Yeah, the ones they clean themselves. Yeah, they clean themselves. Oh. You just keep well, it filled no, with the special litter that because Is it like UV light too? Our dog, my parents' dog, had to get surgery for um, eating that cat litter. It's made up of a different kind of cat litter. And well, it got it in there. She ate the litter and out of what. The box? The box, but it was a different kind of litter, cat litter, and it wouldn't digest at all. 
Because it's, it's made of something mat. that you can't digest and go through. So yeah, she well, had just a big no, belly diamonds. Full. diamonds. No, they were like big chunks, almost looked like pellets, like huge ones. And they were all stuck in her belly. She couldn't extract them. And she had to get surgery and get them all removed. So what, is, it, is the dog not supposed to be able to get into it? Like that crystals and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this. I don't know. Like, how does have a certain type of? How does the? How does it stop a dog from getting into it? Uh, I mean, they're pretty small. What's the compact. one you're talking about? Yeah, it's just kind of. It's almost like the shape of a yo-yo almost. Uh, and all that happens is like the bottom, I think, like rotates around every once in a while, and runs the sand or litter uh, through uh, filters yeah. something yeah filter uh, it drops all the chunks out and then you can collect it in the tray and dump it out huh we just keep it filled with litter that seems uh like there's got to be other ways why don't you put it in a place the dog can't get to because <laughs> i don't want to have a litter box that's like face high in a room <laughs> yeah no i'm not saying that put it in a closet with a little cat door on it oh i still have to get into the closet so you put it in a closet we well, have to like, cut a hole out of the closet don't no, worry. like just like to like a little gap seal the door block it so a dog can't open it somehow there's ways yeah. to figure this out the litter box is closed and it has a flap for the cats, but Nava yeah, I keeps, get that. Yeah, Nava keeps ripping off the the latches and then opens it up. Of course, she wants those fucking cat turds, dude. They both do. Share them. Or first come first serve. They probably dude, have claimed their boxes now. There's two Not boxes. Not how to get into these ones, but taught her to eat dog shit. Taught, do, ah. taught Nava to eat cat shit. Yeah, <laughs> she'd cat never shit. done it before. I've seen her eat dog shit frozen in the snow, mm. or at least chew her on Her own? It. Frozen dog turds. Her own? Yeah. Jesus. Ew. They're dogs. They do disgusting things. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about you being a dog. Yeah, no, the little How many box dogs thing, do you think you could have at one time? This is enough. Two? Yeah. I'd say four. No. I've had, I've had four before. See, the problem with four is it becomes a pack then. And if you have, like, two females in a dog pack, things aren't going good. Like, there's going to be fights. We had one, two, three males and one girl. Yep. That's how you do it. It's weird. But they were different sizes. Well, yeah. And they, and they got along or whatever. Yeah. They all were fine. I mean. Yeah. Different dog breeds can get along with different dog breeds. No problem. But it's just something about having two females in a dog. They're bitches. Yeah. Women don't like women. Dogs. Talking about dogs, Derek. Yeah. Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> the layperson. Uh, <clears throat> well, I think, like, especially on a farm, you could have quite a few dogs. Oh, I'd say eight. Yeah, solid eight. <laughs> on a big farm. Well, especially if you have puppies. They're not coming inside all the time you know. and shit. Yeah. Yeah, you have some outside ones. No, yeah, you have some dogs. Yeah, you stay outside. You have your, spe- your favorite. Or build them, like, <laughs> build them a little blue. dog shed. Yeah. yeah. Build them a dog shed. No, they got to have a little dog shed. You know, sit up on the roof and stuff. Like a guest house. <laughs> <laughs> what? A million dollar guest house. Yeah, that's where the dogs live now. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I live in the barn. <laughs> Hey, I have the skylight the most. It is crazy that most dogs live better than some humans, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Those little pocket purse dogs. Well, I wasn't just talking about that. But just like any most dogs in general. You know, you have a, a normal, decent dog owner. That dog is living great, you know? Yeah. Humans can't say people, that same yeah, thing. Yeah, no. You, know? you have some humans that live in... Well, there's a lot of dogs that live in miserable places, Shit, there's about, Yes, but I think there's more humans. There's about 30 like of the humans down there sleeping on the street right now. Yeah, exactly. And that's just one it's corner. It's down on the corner, yeah. Omaha's not even bad. And then you go down by the homeless shelter, and they're just, I mean, all over that street. Filled Where's up. the homeless shelter? I don't know. It's right by the... right behind. So, like, north of coming where the... 
a couple of blocks north of coming from like the stadium, the baseball stadium down there. Oh yeah, that the one downtown. Yeah. Okay, St. Francis House. Yeah. Yeah. And the Stevens House is on. I never go down that way though. They just opened up a new cone flower down there, and there's no line. No shit. I haven't been to the slowdown trap room area since Black Lips. When was the Black Lips? Before the pan- like the, right when the pandemic the started? The week before the pandemic. Yeah. That was the last time I went to the slowdown or or trap room. Yeah, we, got, we partied with them for a little bit. Yeah. But I'm just saying. I, I We never go down there anymore. Yeah, well... Closer to 40 than I am to 30 now. Yeah. So I'm not in my 20s anymore. Are you anymore, see, seeing sure. you're scared of homeless people? If I see one, I will <laughs> hit him with a lead pipe. My mom almost <laughs> ran one over the other. On yes, purpose? Two days ago, no. She used to work at the Stevens Center. One of those nice drug zombie one, ones. But... Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, no, she actually she was all fucked up on something and walking in the middle of the street, like yelling at every car trying to come by. And like, was it the same one that walked by the cars her. when we were getting ice cream? Maybe. That was like out on the Black coming woman? street. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it was the same one. She went fucking nuts. So I was at uh, Metropolitan Community College Fort Campus this yeah. afternoon, and uh, as we were leaving, <laughs> we're right there on Sorensen. About to like kind of get onto 30th onto the interstate, and this like I don't know person with pink hair I want to say and like skinny as a fucking rail but like super tall and like wearing this like black leotard with like a f- colors on it and uh, <laughs> I was just joking she had like nine inch heels me, yeah it was definitely a prostitute okay. <laughs> uh, but, like, as she's, like, walking across the street, I, I joked to the guy driving. I was like, Tyler, is that your – you're going to pick up your girlfriend? Just like, <laughs> let her walk across. And, like, as I did it, she, like, bent down and just started twerking. In the middle of the street? <laughs> no, it was, like, as she got to the curb, oh. she did it. Because it was, like, a busy intersection. And there was someone else on a bike that just, like, did a double take. It was hilarious. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they were probably on crack. But but, uh, I was they were working. At, at, I was watching on Facebook this morning a bunch of videos, and it was about um, people who are homeless and kind of like what made them become homeless, and then like what did they do to get money? And I mean, every one of them said prostitute. Yeah, I mean, it pays best. Yeah, tax free. There was one said dominatrix. Oh, is, is that a sex thing? What? Yeah, like a sub and dom. Okay, dominatrix. You just gotta find the right. She was rolling in dough, and she didn't look homeless. And I don't think she was actually homeless, but she was like telling her story of like she had a really fucked up childhood and I, stuff. I feel like we read a story one time about some lady that was a dominatrix, and we like read it on this podcast one time, like a long time ago. About oh, there was a when they had that. Um city council meeting or something and all those dominatrixes like walked in no was that's not what Christmas i'm ta- that's not what i'm something? talking about it was like an interview with this lady that we read and it had to deal with like how most guys like wanted to be stepped on you know or like what was the other thing like i don't know smacking balls i feel like it was something oh, fucking yeah, dumb stepping on balls yeah yeah torture basically but it's crazy how many people like the clientele like it was like the best money they'd ever made. Or That's what this with her, girl is saying. She actually took a wad out of her boobs and like threw it on the counter. I mean, it was probably fifty grand right was there. Was this in Omaha? I, mean, I don't know. It was just a Facebook oh, interview Facebook thing. Oh, Facebook story. Okay. Yeah. All right. It well, was an interview deal. I don't know. One of the videos. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, fucking sex trafficking is a real thing. And so is prostitution. She said she was all about doing it on her own, though. Like she and all this because they became crazy cat ladies. Well, <laughs> yeah, that could have done it, but it usually is though, like some sort of <clears throat> trauma in your life, or yeah. you know, we're sexually abused, so that's just like, the life you end up in, or whatever. Daddy doesn't give you enough attention, so now you <clears throat> have to beat daddy to make sure he notices you, basically, or has no dad, or just no daddy issues. Mommy issues. Any sort of issues. Mommy issues. A lot of things will lead you down the pole. I made you fresh, hot cookies from the events. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, here's $500. Mm, is that chocolate Do it chip? Again. <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> Shove diamonds in my butt. Me too. <laughs> 44, please. <laughs> uh, I don't care what size. So what were we talking about? Crazy cat lady. Oh, yeah. This, this is what happens when you become a crazy cat lady. Yeah. She has a prostitute to fade the cats. Because at this point, does she feed them? Like, how do you feed that many cats? I told you, it's got to it be costs, a full-time job. It costs $1.6 million. Cleaning up after dollars. cats, feeding the cats. Well, how do you how do you pay for that much food? She might maybe has some type of sanctuary status with the yeah. state, maybe, where she gets some sort no. of stipend. She called it a sanctuary. Stipend? Yeah, Tax the, write-off? The state government gives you money. She, maybe there might be federal See, money. See, I thought the grants like, Yeah, but $1.6 million a year? I don't know. How how do you think people? I mean, I'm sure she gets people like cats probably sent to her from a like, humane society when they have spillover. Oh no, shit, I know? bet people don't send them to. Her. I bet they just drop them off. Yeah, off the books. Yeah, she's a drop single off single books. woman. Why would you kill the cats when you could just take them to the cat lady? Eleven hundred cats. That makes her happy. I think the article said that exactly. she has five hundred. She lives up in a trailer for... now. She's giving around. <laughs> she says she has five hundred up for adoption. Oh, she picks the cute ones. Yeah, she probably picks the good ones. and Yeah, strips. the ones that she can pick up and pet or whatever that follow her around. Yeah. She takes the pretty ones out when she works the streets, though. So. Dominatrix oh, Kitty. Oh, well, that's how you get more clientele. Dominatrix Kitty. Bring the cats with you. My name's Kitty Mama. Kitty. You know, I bet there's a big... Uh, a pain. I'll let my cat scratch you. <laughs> <laughs> there's a real big uh, cat juggling industry. What? <laughs> cat juggling? It's pretty dangerous. Is that a real thing? No. Okay. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> it would be fucking dangerous as fuck. Oh, yeah. You'd probably get bit and scratched. Either way, don't become a cat lady on Pissed us. On. So there's another 11, update next, to a story next week we talked about a few cats times. Here. I want a topper. It'll be 1,200. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to go, you might as well go. <laughs> you won't be able to walk without Chief stepping Zaholic. on a cat. Oh, you want to talk about your old the pal? Yeah, Chief Saholic. Last time we talked about him, this was the guy that... He was on the run. Uh, yeah, no, he got picked up in Oklahoma after robbing a bank on the way That's to right. Houston, Texas for a game for the Chiefs and the Texans. And uh, they had him in house arrest. And at the Super Bowl time, he cut off his ankle bracelet and took off. And then they finally caught up to him. And the last time we talked about him, he had been arrested... Uh, it was like a joint FBI thing. They found him in California, and they started linking once they got control of his phone, his trail, uh, his geolocation to like all these bank robberies that happened in like the Midwest. Oh, you one in Omaha. This? Yeah. So on the way to a Vikings game or something. Yeah. Like. So federal prosecutors have now requested new evidence be added in the case of Xavier babador aka chief saholic the evidence includes a surveillance photo of bank robbery in el dorado hills california on july 3rd and a surveillance photo of a bank robbery in nevada on june 8th these are all dates after he escaped oklahoma and hmm. his house arrest oh so they have no footage of him beforehand yeah he cut <clears throat> off the ankle bracelet fled the state and continued robbing more banks hmm. well he's an alcoholic chief saholic well yeah this yeah. is what the Chiefs are doing to people. <laughs> Become a Packers fan, everybody. <laughs> we just drink and eat cheese. <laughs> yeah, but they're about to suck this year, so. We don't know that. Most likely, though. Love Who's going to suck this year? Love. Maybe. The Packers? I don't know. I think, I think Love's been actually pretty good. We don't else, find who out. Who else do they got? Love. Cool. Oh, you meant on that. Oh, yeah, well, there's got to be another star player somewhere on offense or defense, <sighs> even. Yeah. That right there. They got know. no one else. They Can you name a Packers? Players. Is there someone else that starts for the Packers? Christian Watson. Yeah, Watson's good. That name sounds good. AJ familiar. Dillon. Dillon and Watson are back both. Wide receivers. Who's the other really good? No, uh, Dillon's a running back. Who's the other good running back to have? The, the better one. better one. Um, fuck. Rodgers. Aaron no, Rodgers? No, quarterback. Yeah, his, his, or his last name's Rodgers, too, I think. Oh, I don't know. They have another running back that's really good. Um, Name Rodgers. Yeah, uh, Lou the Dobbs. Uh, not Lou Dobbs. <laughs> Antonio <laughs> Dobbs? <laughs> his last name's Dobbs. Oh, not Rodgers. Jones. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones, yeah. He's... And Dylan's really good, too. Dylan's a powerhouse, yeah, but Jones has got the 
freaking, I mean, just, <clears throat> he has the athleticism do, and just goes. Do the, do the Packers play this weekend? Does everyone play this weekend? You uh, said Packers, true. I think, play tonight. It's preseason. The Vikings are playing. Who the, know that. Who gives There's a f- two games tonight, I believe. Who gives a fuck about the preseason? Well, you got to see Love out there. No? Probably not. They'll probably <clears throat> do all second strings. That's his first year starting. I wouldn't be surprised if he plays a little bit. Yeah, exactly. It's preseason. Maybe not starts, but he'll probably get a rep or two. Especially he's pretty young. Yeah. you got to get him on the board. Doing you know, some stats before he goes into the season. A little confidence boost. Yeah, maybe. Preseason's stupid. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, Nebraska plays week zero. It's kind of preseason, but it's Minnesota, so it's kind of a big game. When's that? Three Thursdays from now. <laughs> we'll be gone. Yep. We'll be leaving it's, that day. It's the night you guys leave. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Col- There's a whole bunch of college football games that day. That is when football starts. Yeah, we'll be gone for that. That's fine. You guys are going to have a blast. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> it's like I said, I don't get put into prostitution and sex trade in well, Amsterdam you do, like yeah. my mom keeps saying. You probably should be careful out there, but I, I mean. Right, the only place the, we're going that's weird like that would be Amsterdam, and we're going to be in a populated area. Yeah. yeah. You never know. Back alleys, though. So we'll be a group of four of us. In Amsterdam, yeah. Oh, okay. That'll well be done. for me and Zach and Monty. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's right. He didn't live there. They live in Belgium. Oh, okay. So they're meeting us in Amsterdam, then we're going to that's Belgium. That's like Lincoln, Omaha. Three they're nights. They're fucking right there, aren't they? Such yeah, a it's a three-hour drive. Oh, okay. Like drive, drive, Kansas but it's City, only Omaha. like an hour and a half or hour train ride. Hmm. So did you hear about? Maybe it's two hours. It's not far. This next story is called Fruits of Life. Did you hear about the vegan influencer who ate all fruit diet? It dies of malnutrition. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. What? Yeah. Zana Samsonova, known as Zana de Art on social media, claims she had lived on a fully fruit-based, low-fat diet for the past five years. She ate raw tropical fruit diet, accumulated billions of views, dead at the age of 39. Damn. She would literally eat like the outsides of fruit that you just pick from the tree oh, that you shouldn't eat. Like pineapple, outside yes. of pineapples and mango. Coconuts she would like pick shit? the whole pineapple out and act like she was just going to eat the fruit part, but then puts the whole thing in her mouth. Uh, Everybody's like, what the fuck? I mean, I think you can eat it, but like you don't need to eat just that, you know? No, she eats the whole thing, the entire fruit. Yeah, like I'm saying like there's a lot of fruits you could probably you can eat orange peels, you know, but you don't banana need, peels too. You don't need to. Speaking of, are you gonna eat that fucking rotten banana behind you? No, <laughs> doing a science experiment. <laughs> and and what how is, many flies can it catch? <laughs> yeah, what is that exactly? How, how many gnats? Will you st- you will still eat that? Nah, that's past the point. See, like at that oh, point, I would eat that. That's, do or die. That side is fine. But if you flip it back over, I think that's too much. I don't uh, think I could do that side. I'd still eat it. Oh, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure Samsonova would eat it if she were alive. Yeah, the, but you just crazy rip off the fruit brown cruiser? part if there's burning on that. Would she, you think she would eat that whole banana though? She would eat the whole skin. Just like chomp right into it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Her main food fruits were jackfruit and durian. Okay, a well, fruit jackfruit with a noxious what the odor. Fuck is that Those even? are the same things. What is that? Jackfruit is a vegetarian based, like, it's kind of like a plant based meat that they use sometimes for, like, a lot of barbecue and whatnot. What? Um, it's um, that has the same texture as, like, a sh- uh, shredded pork. whatever beef or pork or whatnot, whatever you pulled pork sandwiches and stuff. Huh. So it has the same texture, and a lot of people say it tastes the same. What's it look like? It's, the fruit. It, when it's raw and they cut into it, like people cannot handle the smell until it's cooked hmm. because it smells like straight up asshole. And this lady would eat it raw? She was eating raw asshole and died of malnutrition. Jesus. Well, yeah. Well, shit in, shit out. Did you want yeah, to see what it exactly. looks like? Yeah, I would like to see a jackfruit. It, they're huge. Is there a pit? Do you think she was eating pits to fruits too? Oh, and her last. Jack, this jackfruit, is a picture of her. Really good. A, I think this is a jackfruit. She, she looked like shit. 
That's a jackfruit. And look how she's thirty nine. She's pretty, yeah, like sunken eyes. Yeah. Well, it's more like a so she was doing this diet watch. for like ten plus years, you know? and then like had made a switch to full time only fruit, and then that. But like that's what it looks. Was like her diet? Probably. She died of malnutrition. Oh, interesting. Oh, I try. A lot of people that serve. I would try some jackfruit. She avoided eating any type of protein, salt, and oil. Oh, you gotta have salt. And That's... somebody said that uh, she didn't even drink water for over six years because she was getting so much moisture from fruit. No, you still gotta drink water. And it's... claimed she had been sick in years. Moods better, minds clear, blah blah. Better, all that shit. People say that salt like that. also is just like part of the human body. We're like salt water. You don't get a lot of salt in fruit either. No, but that's why you have to add salt to most things too, because you like you need salt. That's why animals oh, lick we, salt. You Americans know? eat a lot more salt than we need to. Oh, oh there's a bunch 100%, of hundred percent. But you still need salt. Like there's salt licks for a reason for animals. Like they need to have the yeah. salt. The iodine and whatever it is. Something else. Yeah. Sodium. Yeah, so people there's a lot of stories in here about people at, towards the end of her life are like she looks really sickly. She's going to die. Yeah. 39. So she always stayed like this. They, a lot of them described her like a childlike happiness. Hmm. Always. Well, do you think that was like a facade, though? Maybe. It would almost I mean, have to somebody be. dies of malnutrition well, because they're eating a ridiculous diet. Did you say it was a YouTube channel? Like crazy? TikTok, I don't know. I she was Influen- influencer. Influencer, what they said. Probably yeah. everything. So, yeah. TikTok. Of course you're fake. Any, any influencer is fake as fuck. They don't like try to be. They just are. They yeah. have to put on a persona for their, her neighbor their found people. her. Uh, the other day, an apartment, I think, said she found her lifeless body. S- tried to convince her to seek treatment, but she didn't survive the S- ride there. Smelling like shit. Oh, she found her just like dying. She also claimed to have recovered from COVID infection with dry fasting, where you don't eat food or liquid. It sounds like she's like anorexic or like some sort yeah, of yeah, basically some sort of eating disorder. Oh, obviously an eating disorder. Oh yeah. How many? But that sad part is like, how many other people did she give an eating disorder to, by trying to influence them and shit? You know. An all fruit diet, like you literally have to have, your body needs the balance to function. You still the need carbs protein. and the protein yeah. and the. Okay, so this you is can live without crazy. carbs, but there's carbs in everything. So. She also had a, a what do they call it? It's a type of carbs. Yeah. Jesus, Non-processed. Uh, complex? Yeah, Jesus complex. Her God dietary complex. choices led her to feeling ostracized on some occasion. She noted on social media, including visits to Russia, where she's from. Uh, Quote, I feel like Jesus, who was not recognized for his knowledge and crucified on the cross for bringing knowledge and light to people. She wrote that on Instagram. So she's like a martyr. Like. Yeah, in her mind. Wow. She's a murder for healthy, mad. clean living she, that kills do you. Do you think she killed herself with jackfruit? Or she purposely did it? Jackfruit. I think she I had think... an eating disorder, and so she just got too extreme. Would say, well, I ate. I, so I ate was... fruit. I had jackfruit today. Well, jackfruit tastes, I mean, the taste of it, the smell of it's awful, apparently. But once you cook it, it's you're supposed yeah, to yeah. cook it with, like, barbecue and stuff. And, like, the obvious the smell goes away. Well, I'm assuming, though, she was not seasoning it at all if she wasn't eating salt. No. Every seasoning has salt in it. Yeah. And so I don't think well, she was... Well, she was a raw... She ate raw fruit. So she ate the jackfruit raw. I don't think you're supposed to. You can. I mean, you can. obviously can, probably She is can. on an all-raw yeah. fruit, right. fruit diet. Where does jackfruit grow? Russia? I have no idea. Well, the she's biggest sa- bunny in the backyard. Sounds right like now. she's Russian. Sounds like she's from Russia. Mother Russia. There's a mother bunny back there. So like, the type of like raw diets they say, uh, if you don't plan out eating correctly and take vitamins and minerals, you'll get deficiencies, uh, particularly with vitamin B12, calcium, and vitamin D. Huh. Well, yeah. Even like the sailors knew back in the day, you can't just survive on fruit. You can't survive on pickled pork or whatever they were eating. You gotta have a balanced pork and yeah, but like a vegetarian lifestyle, I think is fairly healthy if you do it right, because you still get the protein for peanuts and. I think it if you if you do it right, maybe, yeah, you can be healthy. You can be super healthy, I think. 
It just depends on what. Well, like, every, there's a lot of fake meats but now. But every, everyone's different too, you know. Every body is a little different. Yeah. So. I was a vegetarian for 10 years. Well, more than that. Before I started eating fish. But I think, I think vegetarian is definitely different than a vegan. Vegan's a lot harder to get those nutrients for you. Yeah. You have to eat a shit ton of spinach, but, but then spinach can cause other problems in your body too. If you too eat much that iron much. or something? No, not even too much iron, but like I can't eat spinach because I have had kidney stones in the past. So I'm not supposed to uh, eat spinach. Hmm. I'll eat like spinach artichoke dip or something, but it don't know it about it. Can be a big factor of a kidney stone. I've never heard that before. I would think it would be good for kids. I love stones. spinach. Fucking love yeah. spinach. I love spinach did too. You st- but... Did you stop cooking with spinach? Uh, we have probably. Well, she doesn't. Can't eat spinach. I can. I can eat a little bit. I eat of it on it. sandwiches. That's it. Mostly, yeah. Uh, hmm. If we cook with spinach, like I can eat a, you know. Sometimes as long as you I'm just not need a little spinach on top, you know, to melt in there. See, I could, I'd be fine with that. Hmm. Yeah, don't you don't really want any fall, spinach. Don't you don't need a spinach salad. Yeah, I, know I, I like spinach salads. But if it's like mixed in with a salad, I'll eat it. Hmm. It's okay. just nowadays, whatever. I don't really care. But well, but you never. But went, like a vegan, yeah. That's you were never so vegan. No, no. Yeah. No. No. You I can't even have honey. No. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like you're not hurting the bees. No you're, milk. No eggs. No honey. Pretty much no bread. Anything that's made with milk or I don't understand eggs. the eggs things, like, too. It's like, it's not, you know, fertilized. It's okay to eat. You're not hurting the chicken. Well, I, I understand vegetarians. Like, you're you're killing animals to eat them. You know, like, that's... Yes, I understand. Yeah, chickens are still going to lay But, like, eggs. eggs and shit. I think they're talking about, like, big farm, corporate farm, you know. Or, what if you have your own chickens? Industrial farming where you get, like, if- hundreds of, or thousands of... A lot of vegetarians chickens, you put them do in like a small market. little coop thing yeah. and like pack them in together and their entire existence is just making eggs. Well, yeah. Versus running around, dropping an egg and you collecting it. Well, that's why no vegan diet, no vegan powers. Vegan's a lot harder to be, to keep a substantial Chicken amount of vegan? nutrients. There's a lot of stuff now, though, that they have come out with in the past, I want to say, mm, five years. The impossible meats. I don't even know if impo- I know the Beyond Meat is vegan. I'm not sure the Impossible Meat is vegan. I think it might be vegetarian. Hmm. It might have like. I thought one of them they did use like some sort of blood. No, it. they use beet juice. Beet juice. I thought it was blood too. Okay. No. No, they use like an amino acid that's like in blood or plasma maybe or something mm. weird like. And they might they might produce it you know synthetically, but they still is like similar to blood. Maybe I'm wrong. Beet juice know. makes the blood. Yeah, beet juice, and then it cooks out. So it, honestly, it's kind of weird, like how you know, similar it actually is. I'm just getting a hankering for cooking another burger. Talking about <laughs> this. Have I've, you ever had an Impossible Burger? I have, I have. But I'm just thinking, I cooked a burger for the first time with an, on my new grill last night. On the flat top? No, just on the grill. Grill. Um, I might use a flat top for a burger, but it was just so. I don't know. Empowering, maybe? <laughs> I cooked this myself. No, <laughs> no not, not that. Uh, soothing, I would say more, just to be like drinking a beer, flipping a burger. Did you, you know? look down and suddenly you're wearing new balances? <laughs> did, you have, did you have your cut-off jean shorts on and no shirt? No, I just still had my work boots on. I should have taken my shirt off. <laughs> Put your fucking beer tall boy. I had a beer, so don't worry. I had a beer with me. I'm not... Tall boy. I'm grilling properly, so but it, it did feel really good. Grilling is fun. I know. I was super excited. I haven't, I haven't had a grill since that old one I had, the round one. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking charcoal grill with no lid or anything on it. Yeah, I haven't had a grill for a long time. Did you? Where'd you get an Impossible Burger from? Uh, I bought one a long time ago. Did you like it? It was okay. Yeah. Was it the Impossible or the Beyond? I thought it was Impossible. It was in the store. Or is the Beyond one in the store? Yeah. Beyond's a lot more popular uh, So then maybe now. I've had the Beyond one. I like the Impossible or, a lot or better. Which one was that Burger King? Impossible. And that's where I had the Impossible one too. Okay. Yeah. Because I had done both for sure. The Beyond tastes a lot more fake to me. I don't I was know. Kind I of cooked sub- it with him a bunch of stuff with 
Eh, I've cooked a couple beyond things, but most of them are impossible, and he eats it. I feel like I don't see it that often in the store anymore. It's or maybe beyond I'm, is and big. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right spot in the store. But um, like Bakers, do you go to Bakers? Yeah. The one right there, that one, it's in the actual section next to the meats. Yeah, that's probably so like, why I skip right it next all to the, the time. meat counter. Oh, it's that one little side little one? section where yeah. they have like the turkey burgers and stuff. Yeah, not even yeah. a section; it's probably just a little deep freeze. Yeah, I know exactly. I, no, I it's skip a that section on the shelf. I it's mean, it little... literally is in the same vicinity. Yeah, it's right there, but it's kind of on that angle. It's like right there where like the door of the deli is or whatever. I yes. think. Yes. <laughs> right on the outside yeah. of like, so, it, you, so have you get that, your bacon, then you walk around it, you know. Well, you no, no, next there. to the deli, next to the meat counter. Yeah, that, that's what I meant, you know, the, the door to the meat counter. Yeah, the right, meat around, counter, right around the corner from the bacon. The tiny little section yeah, with yeah. like the turkey burgers, and then they have the impossible and beyond stuff there. Just not, I mean, there's one shelf with it. Yeah, but that's all that matters. But then they have the freezer section too with all that stuff too. Oh, really? So what happened to it at like Burger King? It's still there. Is it? Because it's I, just not on the I, breakfast menu. I now. just I just don't go to like fast food like that, so I never see it I don't anymore. Either. But I was wondering because like they made a big deal when it came out, and then I yeah, thought they, they got sued for millions of dollars because they were cooking it on the same grill. Huh. Yeah, that's funny. I didn't hear dumbasses. that. Maybe I did and forgot about it. But speaking of dumbass, so they have their own grill to grill this impossible. Yeah, yeah you can't know. claim something is vegan if it's getting cooked in animal fat. Hmm. Or if it's cooked on the same grill that the other burgers are. Well, cooked I mean, in. so how far away does the grill have to be from the other grill? It just it doesn't need to be that far. It just needs to be mean, a separate splatter. grill and a separate fryer. And Everyone all that. that's grilled knows things splatter. Mm-hmm. When I so at work when we were working out of the office, we used our enrichment committee money one time to buy a grill for the office, and a lot of times I oh nice I'd be grill master. We had worked a lot of Indians. A lot of them are vegan. Or vegetarian, I should say. Uh, so every time we used the grill, we'd cook up like all the other stuff first because the vegan stuff would cook real fast. But we'd have to lay down like foil on top of uh, the grates and stuff on the the grill mm. so that it didn't like touch anything. Yeah, that sounds about right. People freak out. Yeah, they do. <laughs> all right. What do you think of that picture? Describe think, what you're seeing. I think that's oh, a car that through the second floor of a house. Yeah, I saw that earlier. It is a car through the second story of a house. <laughs> so Was there's it? a car crashes in the second floor of a house. Cops say the driver did it on purpose. Oh, he premeditated. Yeah. I guess it was some, like, teenager or something. 20-year-old driver, but he had like, a history of just doing stupid fucking shit. Uh, and... Decided that I think he was driving through a field and ramped off something into the house. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure he did it on purpose. Somebody was home. They were downstairs. Wow. Were okay. Did the guy just like open the car door and come downstairs? <laughs> walk, walk through the yeah. Glass Howdy. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> <First dinner. laughs> mm, Nice little chicken. <clears throat> Is something burning? <laughs> he used too much salt. <laughs> he used a culvert to ramp himself up. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Oh, but so, so he did There's know some the pictures <clears throat> of like the vehicle. They he, pulled it out. The he whole... did know the person, though, you said. No, I, I haven't read anything about that. Oh. Well, you said that. No, the guy. Oh, the cops were aware of this guy. He's done stupid shit oh. before in the past. Oh, is he like a stunt driver? Did he do stunts? No, he's a, he doesn't do stunts. He's just stunts. an idiot. Stunts. I like to party. <laughs> yeah. That was a Corolla. It took him three hours to get the car out of the house. Wow. I think they had to get a crane or just get a fucking uh, tow truck, pulled it out. I see there's a bunch of pictures here of the rescue. Yeah, I bet they just see a crane to, or a tow truck pulled his ass out. Yeah, it looks like they just grabbed the car and ripped like, it out. Ah, insurance will cover it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Was this in Omaha? Was that an Omaha plate? Nebraska? I think it says Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought it said Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Down Pennsylvania way. Can I have that bottle opener, please? I love watching videos and people try to ramp their vehicles up stuff on the road like they do in movies. And every time, the car always tips a certain way and they never make it. You know, they just oh, crash. It's bad. Into culverts? 
No, and people like, have you seen the videos where some people will see like a, a truck that's made for transporting vehicles and they'll have like the ramp, you know, in the back and they'll just speed oh, up and yeah. hit that ramp. Yeah. Or maybe there's some construction thing with the ramp and they'll go up that. But they always fucking destroy their cars and yeah. probably kill themselves. It, it doesn't work the way in the movies. Yeah, it's or not a fucking cartoon. It has to be like an actual built in ramp. Four cars and like and a professional driver. Yeah, that in that exactly. You have to at the right speed. There's calculations in that shit. Stunts. Yeah, you know stunts. stunts. Yeah, if you go too fucking high, the engine's just gonna pull the car down. You know, nose first. So you like not go that high unless you have a ramp that's gonna like shoot you more straight out versus up. Well, yeah, exa- exactly. And you, it has to be on the ground. You can't like have a little bump up or whatever. You know, like I've seen people because of video games, they think they can just drive over telephone poles or something. Oh, they just run them down. Like the same thing. Like, like well, a not, mower. Not yeah. Like there's a telephone pole down in front of you. You're like I'm just gonna hop this. Like because I've done this in a video game before. Like no, your car does not work that way. People have fucked their vehicles up by doing that. Yeah. People are yes. fucking dumb. What's the dumbest thing you ever did in a vehicle? Uh, a demolition vehicle. Demolition derby. In well, a vehicle. yeah. <laughs> but that's yeah, yeah. And I mean, I mean, before that, even I knocking was knocking out Dan's back window in his car, hitting mailboxes with bats. But yeah, even before that, I was hitting mailboxes with my car or <laughs> trash cans. My car got high centered on a trash can, and we fucking bailed it. Ran like six blocks away, huddled up. Sat there for like an hour and like, okay, let's get this truck. Let's all go rock my car off of this fucking trash can. Red, whatever car that was. No, this was a Monte Carlo. You never okay. saw it. But <clears throat> no, that was, it was a Oldsmobile actually. It was a Monte Carlo engine in the Oldsmobile. It was a fucking beast. But yeah, I, it was just like small town. You can leave your car parked on someone's lawn. <laughs> <laughs> high centered. St- high centered on a trash can for a couple hours in the middle of the night on a Saturday. <laughs> And then just go get it. Be fine. <laughs> that was pretty dumb. What about you? Uh, well, we used to take out my old prelude and go jump bridges in the gravel roads. Oh, ramps. Yeah. Yeah. They, See, and that's different because it's like an actual ramp. You yeah, know? and you try to like lose control of the car, the gravel, you know, and like make yourself like do fish, cookies and shit tail. real fast, basically. Yeah, yeah you fish tail around I had corners. The, I had the hand e brake, so you know you just like jerk the wheel, and pull the e brake, and whip the back out. Nice. Easy. Yeah, I remember the first time my dad showed me how to do that in his truck, and I was like probably fourteen, and he was like, "Oh, I shouldn't have showed you that." <laughs> <laughs> Every kid figures that out. <laughs> yeah, I know, but he's like, "Yeah, you kind of have to like hit it just right," you know. <laughs> Jesus. I know. Well, I was also in the country where like. No yeah, around. it's easy to do that in the gravel roads. You figure out how to like whip your back out. It, yeah, it, because the gravel's just so much looser, so it gives you the feel. You get a lot of good practice. Yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing I was, did. I had some friends. They, one of their parents had like a, a rental car, so we went out into the gravel roads and we're going like ninety miles an hour. They have a sunroof, so we took turns going outside the car and hanging onto the sunroof. Jesus, that was fucking crazy. That's pretty fucking. That's death proof style. Yeah. yeah, I did that on a golf cart. Yeah, I was going 90. Yeah, that's Golf cart's stupid. Different. Yeah. It's pretty cool, though. Golf cart, I was going a rock and like 50 Jesus miles Christ. an hour. Jesus Christ. Johnny Boy over here is a fucking pussy. I was the one on the roof. Golf cart in it is all. It was that golf cart. Golf got... carts go like 10 miles an hour. Well, we flipped it multiple times. Oh, with you, on, with you on the top? No. Okay. Yeah, everyone's flipped a golf cart. You haven't played golf unless you flip the golf cart. Basically. It's like eating the heart of your first deer kill. This uh, guy I work with Ew, always tells... Did you do that? No. He, he always tells a story Have about... you ever killed a deer? Yeah. But you didn't eat the heart? No. Okay, good. He doesn't deer. want to admit it. But uh, this guy you was... You did? A... Yeah, I ate the deer. The heart? <laughs> no, the deer. <laughs> did you eat the heart? I've eaten deer heart, yes. Eaten? Cooked? Yeah. You cooked the deer heart and ate it? Mm-hmm. Did it taste good? It was okay. This probably Sliced. tasted disgusting. It's no, it's just a little fried deer heart. Ew. It's like eating gizzards. I mean, the liver is what you want to eat raw. It's fucking straight. Why? It's super healthy for you. Yeah. It's like a... It's the first the, thing most animals like will fight sh- over is the uh, liver on an animal. It's called like a... It's that's like a, like a vitamin. Sh- it's just the, like... 
bad things go, though, is your liver. Yeah, but it kills it all. It also pulls like, out a lot of good things and redistributes it in your body. It's, like, dense with metals and stuff, you know? like Iron. Have you eaten a raw it's fatty, deer liver? It's no, I have iron, not good eaten minerals. anything raw from a deer. Liver and onions. Famous dish. I've never Do you actually... like liver? No, I'm not. I've had liver moose, and it was awful. Moose liver. No. Have you had a gizzard? It was liver that was turned into a moose. Oh, like all froth- like a chocolate frothy? Moose? Yeah. Yeah. It was disgusting. Wow. Ew. Have you had a um, gizzard? It tasted like vomit. Well, what kind of liver do you think it was? I don't remember. Have you had gizzards before? Uh, Chicken? Uh, not sure. Maybe. Have you had gizzards? I've had gizzards from KFC. KFC? Yeah. They or used- I'm thinking they, they, they used to have gizzards. Or they have, they've had gizzards, too. What was it called? Gizzards? So what? Gizzards? Is that what you said? Oh, uh, uh, giblets. Giblets. Yeah. Giblets. That's what I'm thinking of. Turkey throat and What's hard. that restaurant down there at the raccoons? Alpine Inn? Alpine Inn? They apparently have really good gizzards. Hmm. I didn't see that. Ugh. My grandpa used to go there. He lived right next to it. We the max all the time so. in college, the bar. You'd sell gizzards? Yeah, I remember in the kitchen there. We had fried gizzards. Oh, on the menu. Yeah. Hmm. Are they good? Didn't try them. Would you? Uh, probably not. If I was starving. Uh, they're really, really chewy, I've heard. Like, yeah. Like, See, really, yeah, the texture of them are, like, something that's almost acquired. You know, like, alcohol's like, kind of an I acquired taste. Thing. It's, it's like a uh, throat. Like, it's, like, chewy. Yeah. Isn't it, it is. like the chicken... Gizzard. Ew, is that what it is? The yeah. the gobbly thing? No, not the gobble. Go- I thought they were livers. Yeah, no, it's like a different organ, I thought. Or uh, not organ. Okay, we're going to look that uh, up. What's a gizzard? What's the uh, other term for an uh, organ that excretes a certain... Kidneys? No, yeah, no, it's a thyroid. Gland! It's a gland. I think so. I could be completely mistaken. So I do a not part know. of the chicken is a gizzard. It's it's basically the stomach. It's made of muscular walls that contract. And it is aided by gritty sand-like particles the chickens ingest as they peck to help grind the food so it may pass to the small intestine. Yeah, so it's a, a certain organ slash gland, probably, that has a certain function in birds that we don't have. We don't have gizzards. It's basically... A second stomach. It's a stomach, yeah. It's just another way their digestive system works that ours doesn't. Ew. It's referred to as the ventriculus gastric mill and jejurium is an organ found in the digestive tract of some animals, including archosaurs, earthworms, and gastropods, some fish, and some crustaceans. And chickens? Wow. Fish and gizzard. I mean, it's basically, it's part of the stomach is what a gizzard is. Gizzard too. Have you ever had the intestines, like, in a taco? No, I've had naturally in case, like, hot dogs or brats. Yeah, that's different, I feel like. But, like, that's just the casing. But, like, was it tripe or is that the stomach? Yeah, that's stomach. Have you had that? Uh, no, I don't think I. I don't think so. Not that are the intestines or the. Brains. I've had tongue. I had a bite of tongue one time. You didn't like it. Tasted fine. It, it's just the thought process. <laughs> well, it's like the texture. Like you think a tongue is. Ew. Yeah, I mean it's got. It's not. I wouldn't say it's quite chewy, chewy, but it's definitely got more of a, a chew to it. Uh, so you probably couldn't get that out of your head. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, it tasted fine. It was all right. I don't know. I'd rather not. <laughs> you don't want to eat the intestine or the stomach or the. I mean, like I said, lungs. I don't mind naturally in case like hot dogs or brats, but I don't. I wouldn't normally want to eat the intestines. No. Is a hot dog or a brat like an intestine? Uh, a brat's basically a sausage, more or less. What uh, is? That, and then they'll just make the the tube is made is with the intestine. What is the sausage made of? Ground meat that is usually like not tougher parts of meat and stuff, so they grind it up and then uh, 
and then you could serve it that way. Just ground meat, but so it's not. Yeah, a hamburger though is usually made of like of decent intestine. flank of steak, you know, or whatever. It's ground up, but like a sauce is just typically cheaper cuts or parts that you don't you wouldn't make into a cut. Hot dogs especially. Hot dogs are a lot. Hot dogs of, have like bones in them. Yeah. No, not bones. It's got ears and tails. Yeah, like soft or cartilage. Yeah, cartilage is a good way of describing it. Waste. That's kind of gross. Sausages, though, are uh, processed differently. Yeah, well, then they season the shit out of it. Sausage is intended to be sub- originally made for, like, winter time. You know, the when key. you're not, like, out hunting all the time because, you know, there's not as much large animal in game. Uh, so you can have that meat or whatever through the hard part of the year. What's what's the process called? Where they like let it brine or whatever? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, Sausage? I mean, it's, they had like the meat lockers that they like. Oh yeah. It has a, it, it's called something. Yeah, I it's not dehydrating. It's, um, no, but it's like a preserving. Yeah, it's a way of preserving. It's a preservation. Yeah, it's a way. Again, to do that. well, like salting stuff too, making jerky. Yeah. Well, like lesser. You're dehydrating More stuff. third world replacing, countries have restaurants that have like those sausages. sausages too. You replace like the water moisture with a different type. You yeah, know, you have to like out let or... it sit for like a month or something. Yeah. Maybe like not out in the long. open too, like the restaurants. No, no, they have like they have like a cabinet that you put it in that's like can simulate it. I think. Faster. Well, if you Incubating. you've seen those pictures, haven't you? Like uh, walking by places and they have the sausages like hanging from the ceiling. Well, I, I feel like that's once it's gone through its process. Then you can pull it out, I feel like. Maybe I'm wrong about that. So there, sausage is just salted uh, various tissues and organs, cheap parts of meat, blood, and the fat that helps preserve it. So they get like a good balance of fat in there too, and then they just salt the living shit out of it, I guess, and stuff it in the casings. So that's why it's so bad for you, probably, because it has so much fat in it? Most likely. Well, think about the, how it was traditionally made. During wintertime, when there's not... A lot of other meats and stuff yeah, you're available. Not, you're not slaughtering. So you're not eating a lot of meat, so you want the high fat content. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but Sausage. a lot of people eat it every day now. It's a different world we live in. Yeah. Sausages. Put it on every pizza that I have. Yeah, I like love sausage. Biscuits and gravy, sausage. and most breakfast foods have we made sausage or bacon. Vegetarian biscuits and gravy the other day. Yeah, and you ate like two pounds of the gravy in one sitting. Well, it was vegetarian. I could not believe. I was literally, I looked at this container of gravy in the fridge, and I was like, Jesus Christ, we have so much of this. We're going to have to freeze some of it. Next thing I know, it is gone. And I'm like, Derek, you did not eat that entire fucking thing of gravy, did, did. you? With three of biscuits. Of course you did. Of course you did. With three biscuits. Typical three biscuits. Derek. You can put a lot of fucking gravy Holy on three biscuits. Holy shit. And he was like, oh, my God, like, I'm so full, and I just, like, I'm not going to eat the rest of the day. And I was like, dude, that was enough for literally winter both of us <laughs> to eat six more meals wow no so, it wasn't that much so it what? was an entire freaking Did giant just... tupperware giant full to the yeah, brim yeah. and i know no, i, I know how much brand. Derek likes gravy did did you just not use sausage, or did you? It was we used the impossible table. sausage. Uh, impossible okay, sausage. Okay. So you yeah. just used your normal recipe with yeah. impossible sausage. All right, all right. Yeah, it was good. It was good. All right, I tried. I like. I haven't had biscuits and gravy probably since you made it. It was good. I'd eat it again. Yeah. The impossible sausage and stuff, I feel like tastes a lot more like the real thing, just because of all the spices that they put in it. They put the same spices. And whatnot seasonings. Is it it's a specifically Italian sausage, impossible sausage? No, it's just regular sausage. Yeah, breakfast or whatever. Do you Italian sausage, or Italian seasoning. They make Italian style. Hmm. Hmm. Or somebody does. I think. <laughs> um, I think it's Beyond that does an Italian sausage, but they come in like the whatever um, packets that look like a hot dog thing or brat i think i've gotten alex into italian sausage instead of just like beef for a stew or something you do some beef some italian sausage oh yeah i love mixing them for my meatballs yeah that and chili you know yeah 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 (laughs) now the vegetarian meat stuff they come out with a lot of the only thing i think they haven't done that's decent let's put it that way 
that is weird still to me <laughs> is the grilled whatever chicken version. <laughs> Oh yeah, That's I feel like still, chicken's a different it's almost like animal a than tofu-y. imitating beef. You know, the beef one they do is more of a soy, soy base. Yeah, and the other well, one I think is more tofu-y. But, but if you think about it, beef is easier to imitate, I yeah. think, than chicken. Well, even the, though the chicken you can't really like. I think I could taste impossible beef over beef. It's the not, texture's not quite there either. Yeah, it's yeah. not the same, but it's also a lot. Do you think it tastes the exact same? No. No. You could you could tell the difference? Well when we cook it we put we cook it with It's always a lot like of... yeah, usually when we have it, it's it's something that's covered in gravy, making like a uh shepherd's pie or mm. we made Tacos. sausage gravy. You never just made a burger with it. No. But like tacos and stuff with it is I mean you have the seasoning there and everything, it's all hmm. similar. Yeah, I'm sure. And all you have to do is chop it up more if you want it more of that texture. I just don't because my arm starts hurting. I'm more <laughs> interested in eating mushrooms than impossible. Really? I've had mushroom know. burgers. Yeah. I don't like mushrooms. Really? You don't like a good portobello? Mm-mm. Ever had a lion's mane? It tastes like lobster. No. Oh. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it doesn't taste like lobster. You put butter on it, it tastes like butter, like lobster does. But yeah, it's good. I would try. I have had some mushrooms recently. He's gotten me to try some. And the little baby bell ones or whatever, that are like the whole mushroom Mm -hmm. that come in like a lot of Chinese dishes or whatever. I like those. But then like just the regular mushrooms, I can't. Yeah, white mushrooms are kind of bland though. Think about it. You got to venture out of that. It's so gross. It's the texture. It's so but, uh, mushy and nasty. You, you got to have a good portobello, like the thing that's the size of a burger, you know? You never had one of those? No. Yeah, I mean, if it's getting, like, mushy, it's been overcooked at that point. But Yeah. Yeah, those portobello ones, I mean, you can, like, grill them, just put a little bit of oil on them and season so them a little bit, I guess, yeah. if you want. Salt, pepper, whatever. Well, you got a new meal to cook for. Hmm. You're not going to try it. I would try it, but I'd rather have something as a backup. What if you do an impossible <laughs> burger with a portobello on top? I would try it okay. because yeah. then I could take the portobello off if I don't like it. But I would try it. All right. I'm in a, I'm in a new phase of my life maybe, trying new Maybe things. I'll have to make some impossible burgers for you on a Husker yes. party. I got to cook it on the flat top so it's all clean too. Woohoo. Yeah, I think we're planning on going to that. Well, I hope so. Well, yeah. We, were, we told you about that already. But yeah. <laughs> we're going to go. I think my brother and uh, sister. That's what I mean. We were supposed to hang out. Oh, with that's that. right. That's right. I forgot about that too. But yeah, yeah. They're all welcome. Too. Always welcome. <laughs> Just making plans here. Uh, so we have any more topics tonight? No, we went through everything. Well, we did, huh? Well, fuck you. Fuck off. Fuck, fuck you, Johnny boy. Fuck you more. Thanks for joining us, Johnny boy. <laughs> fuck you harder. <laughs> fuck off, John. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs>